Meet the Blacks is just an incredible, fun story. And to me, you know, I think what I tried to do with the movie is create a different type of parody. I wanted to actually take, you know, the energy of what The Purge was, which is like a super duper, duper high energy idea, high concept idea, and I wanted to apply it to comedy. I wanted to apply it to Carl Black and the Blacks, right? And the storyline I'm weaving throughout this, if you pay attention and just follow what's going on, the storyline is like really about a man who's trying to make a better life for his family, but he's made a lot of the wrong decisions doing so. So if you follow the film, Carl Black is dealing with everything that we deal with in life. Didn't pay that bill, huh? Coming to purge you, right? Had an issue with uh, 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 a girl that you used to mess with. You didn't end that properly before you started this relationship. All right, we coming to purge you. So I think that was kind of like the, the funniness about the movie. Not only do you get to have an opportunity to work with Mike Epps, but then you get an opportunity on a very, very small scale to actually give him his first opportunity to have his own film. Uh, so for me, it was really cool to present that opportunity to him. But then it was also cool for me as a filmmaker and a producer to be able to partner with him. And I think that's what's kind of cool, and that's what we've been missing uh, just independently. Um, I didn't go to Mike and say, hey, man, I'm hiring you. I went to Mike and said, man, can you not only work with me on this project, but can I partner with you, bring your production company in? Like, we do it together. And um, I just thought that was always a better move, a better play. Uh, and we all get to celebrate the fact that that happens now because what you end up doing when you put yourself in that position is now you get Mike Epps, the producer. You get Mike Epps, the partner. So for me, it was great because... Mike was able to be that barometer for me where I could say, Mike, can we can we get in touch with such and such, tell them what we're doing? It became more of a passion project. I wanted to make a movie that was black and brown. Mm -hmm. um, and that had been a goal for me because I felt like there's so many, you know, Latino actors and actresses I wanted to pay homage to. And I couldn't figure out a clever way. I didn't want to just throw a bunch of other comedians in the movie. So for me, I was like, man, it'd be kind of cool if we create a storyline where here's a guy He's a dad. Um, he's lost his wife. You know, she's, she's passed and died. And now he's trying to be a single man raising his own family. He's not a bad guy. He's just trying to take any, any, he's hustling to do anything he can to make a better life for his family. You know what I mean? And this is Carl Black. So when we started trying to figure out who we could put there, all these crazy names started coming up. And then one name hit my desk, and it was like, Zulai. And I was like, dang, I've seen her somewhere. And I remember seeing her in the movie Fighting mm -hmm. uh, with Channing Tatum. And I hadn't really followed her anymore since then. And it's just something, man. We kept getting all these huge names. All these actresses were, like, a little interested. They wanted me to come and meet and talk. And I talked to Zulai one time. I was like, man, this girl got to do the movie. I think Brisha Webb is... Um, I think she is the funniest millennial out right now, female millennial. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had met her. I was shooting a, um, a variety show with Jamie Foxx um, and Afion Crockett seven years ago. Uh, and I was just like, you know, picking up a camera, working with Jay. It gave me an opportunity to do some cool stuff with him. And Brisha was one of the people that were casted on this Fox show. And it was more like in Living Color mm -hmm. uh, or uh, Mad TV. And I will tell you this, man, I had never seen anyone that, not, not that funny. Mm -hmm. And um, she was so great. And she's always been like in the back of my mind to where when I had an opportunity to do something that needed someone like her in it, it was no question. I was like, I'm giving this part to Brisha Webb. So that part was seven years in the making for Brisha Webb. Brisha and I waited seven years to work with you, so it was good.